Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to today's video. Today I am trying out a bunch of new products that I just hauled. Some of them aren't necessarily new new products, but they're definitely new to me. So I'm really excited to wear them and share them with you guys and see my first initial thoughts. I did a full face of a makeup using them. Oh, and also huge announcement. I got engaged. My boyfriend proposed to me a little while ago. So yes, we are very excited and yeah, so if you notice that, I am engaged. Anyway, I'm really excited to try some of these products and I will have my haul video from all the other products because I hauled a lot more products than just what I'm sharing today. If you want to see that haul video, I will link that below too. So if you guys want to see the products that I used in today's video. But yeah, if you want to see how I got this look and what products I used, just keep watching. Bye guys. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to go in is the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. Um, Nikki Tutorials, I think, was the one that started this, and she uses this as a primer, so I was extremely excited to try this. So I'm just going to put a little bit on, ooh, it comes out fast. I wish it was in like a pump. I don't really know how much to use, but just did about that much. It's really, really liquidy. It smells like a man. Yeah, I definitely use too much. Ooh. This definitely smells like a man, <laughs> so if you do not like that, then you probably will not like this. I like the smell, so it definitely doesn't bother me, but I could see it bothering some people. So I'm just going to kind of rub it in until it gets tacky-ish. And I think we're almost there. It feels really nice on the skin. It's very cooling and soothing. Um, I don't really notice any like minimized pores or anything like that. I wouldn't say it's pore filling, but it's definitely to the point where it is tacky. So I'm going to go in with my foundation. This is new to me. This is the e.l.f. Moisturizing Stick Foundation. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm very interested in stick foundation since I have never tried one before. Mine is in the shade Natural. This had a new sticker on it at Target, but I feel like e.l.f. has had this out for a while, so I don't know if it just means that it's new to Target or what, but I'm pretty sure this is not like a new, new product. It's just new to me. So I'm going to just go ahead and directly apply this to my face. I'm just going to do a couple swipes up there. Couple swipes there. Again, I'm not really sure how much I'm supposed to use of this. It's kind of hard to tell with a stick, but it's very, very creamy. It glides on. I think that the color match is going to be perfect. So then I'm just going to take a wet um, beauty blender and blend this out. Wow, it's blending out really, really nicely. I wasn't sure how this was gonna blend out, but I really, really like how it's blending out. Okay. Wow, I really, really like this. It blended out really beautifully, and it looks and feels very lightweight. I think I used a pretty good amount. I don't say that I used too much or anything. It's very skin-like. I mean, I don't, it doesn't feel cakey. I don't think it looks cakey. It's really, really pretty. I really like that. So next, I'm going to go on with concealer. Again, this is not a new product. It's just new to me. This is the NYX HD concealer. I have mine in the shade Fair. Just an average doe foot applicator. So we're just gonna go directly under the eyes and bring it down slightly. I am also gonna use this to highlight. And then again, I'm just gonna take that same damp sponge and blend that out. Oh, this is very, very brightening. I can already tell on my chin how much brighter it looks. I always bring it up over my eye, down, blends out really, really nicely, really easily. I 
I really like this concealer a lot. It's very similar to the um, Maybelline Fit Me, I would say, but it's very brightening, blends out beautifully. Okay, so I'm going to set that. Now, this is a new um, product to the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Powder. So I'm just going to put some in the lid. And I'm going to take my normal setting brush and just go under here. My holy, 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 holy grail setting powder is from e.l.f. It's the e.l.f. HD setting powder. And it's like $6. I can't remember off the top of my head how much this Maybelline one was, but I'm going to guess that it's pretty close to that. Okay, so, so far so good. Feels very, very nice under the eyes. Sits on the skin nicely. It's also very brightening. So, so far so good. I'm loving all these new products. This next product, again, also said that it was new on the packaging, but I think this has been around for a while. I'm not exactly sure. This is the Elf um, Bronzing Palette. That's what it looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited to try this. I'm just going to use my normal um, bronzer brush. This one is from e.l.f. I did a whole review video on these brushes. I will link that below if you're interested. Sorry, it's dirty. I've been using them like crazy. So I'm going to mix two colors together. I think I'm going to mix these two colors together see what happens. So I'm not going to do any contouring. I'm just going to warm up the skin. Wow. This is really pretty. So if you guys watched my haul of these products, which will be linked below, I wasn't too impressed with the swatches of this palette, but on the skin this is really, really pretty. I'm la 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 loving this. The powders blend out very nicely. They are pigmented enough on the skin. I think they're really pretty. I love, love, love this bronzing palette. This is amazing. I would highly recommend this. Okay, and then I'm just going to take um, a dual fiber brush, and I just like to go over where I bronze. I don't like it to look muddy or choppy or anything like that, so I'm just going to kind of go over everything. Alright, this is not a new product to me or the drugstore, but I'm going to use this for a little bit of blush today. This is the e.l.f. blush palette. I absolutely love this palette and I would highly recommend this guy as well. I'm just going to take this deeper pink mauve shade and run that over my cheeks. Alright, and then sorry if you see a tape on the back of my ring. It looks kind of funny. Um, my ring is too big for me, but I need to get it resized. Um, but there wasn't anyone there today to resize it, so I have to wait. So I had to put some tape on it to make it um, smaller so it wouldn't fling all over the place. So if you see that, that is what that is. Um, but anyways, so this I know is a new product to e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette. I got this again at Target. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty. I swatched all of these on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, you should. So again, I'm going to do a little bit of mixing colors. I think I'm going to take these top two. I'm going to take this champagne color and this pinky color and mix these two together. See what we get. That's pretty. So it's definitely not a highlight that is going to give you like, you know, a lot of highlight, but it's very, very natural, which I like. I think it's going to be a great palette to have on hand for like every day when you don't want to be 
you know, seen from space. But the powders are really nice. Alright, so next product I'm going to go in with is the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner. This is a new product for them. This is what it looks like. Really, really cute. Um, small packaging. It is a felt tip, which I typically like. This really reminds me of the Kat Von D one. So I am just going to apply that to my top lid. I'm not going to do a wing because can't do a wing. I've been trying to practice, but mean wings just don't mix well. So I'm just going to do a normal um, line on the top of my eyeballs. Alright, I love this guy so far. It's very, very black, very easy to apply, very smooth. Um, yeah, I really, really like this. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, I really, really like this. Okay, so next I'm just going to apply some mascara. I didn't get any new mascara, so this is just one that I already had. This is just, um, I don't know how to say this brand. It's like Dose, Dose, it'll be linked below, but it's their Punk Volumizer Mascara. I love the wand on this guy. It is ginormous, so I'm just going to apply some mascara. I'm not going to do eyeshadow because I didn't get any new eyeshadow, um, so I'm just going to keep it really simple today. Alright, and then for lips, I picked up a couple of the NYX Liquid Suede Lippies. I got two of these. I got this color, which is called Soft Spoken, and then I got another more pinky color, which is called Teen Cookies, but I'm going to go with this one today. These are semi-new, I believe. Not super, super new, but um, they're definitely new to me. So, the applicator on these, I'm not really too sure about. They're, it's really long. I don't know, we'll see how it applies, but here you go. I love the color of this. I think it's really pretty. Not crazy about the applicator for the top lip. It's really hard to get around the cupid's bow for some reason. Okay, so the color is absolutely gorgeous. I love the color. Not the biggest fan of this applica applica applicator. It was really hard to get kind of around the cupid's bow and in those like tinier little spaces. But I love the color. Definitely still use them. I might even purchase more. Um, 
I'm not really sure how these are supposed to dry. I will let you guys know um, in a few minutes. And then I also picked up the Wet n Wild setting spray. I ordered this online along with uh, the new brushes, their new brushes that I got. So we're just going to set my makeup with this guy. Ugh. Not the greatest smell in the world. I probably used too much. But it feels really, really nice on the skin. I'm not sure how this is going to prolong my wake up or anything like that. I will keep you guys posted. I love the color of these. The formula feels really nice. So I'm definitely going to go get um, a few more of these guys. And that wraps up my first impressions of all these products, guys. I liked everything. <laughs> there wasn't one product that I didn't like, which is um, pretty rare, I feel like. But... Things that stood out to me the most, I would have to say, would be the e.l.f. bronzer palette. I just think that this was an absolutely gorgeous palette. Everything went out so nice. This is $6. You get four colors. You can pop the pans out and exchange them with their other palettes. So I really like this guy. And my second favorite, I think, was the e.l.f. moisturizing stick foundation. This blended out so nicely. The color is a really good match for me. This is very hydrating and moisturizing. It feels great on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy at all. So I really, really like this. I'm planning on making a Sephora order here very soon. And I'm going to get the Makeup Forever stick foundation. So I might do a um, comparison between those two. Let me know if that is something you would want to see. And if you guys want any more in-depth reviews on any of this stuff, please let me know. I would love to do them for you, but that wraps up my first impressions on all these products. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so stay tuned. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!